today I'm revisiting this gadget I got up at Mendelssohn's in Dayton, a Kierfot. It's a synchro resolver. It's a single phase device. It says two phase, 26 volts input, rotor input, two phase, 26 volts, stator output, two phase, 12 volts, and <clears throat> 400 cycles. So uh, since I had the, uh, the 400 cycle signal generator three phase, although I only need one phase for this, and an amplifier, I'm only using one phase output here. I did uh, dig out my old Nixie tube uh, frequency counter, I hooked that up to the output of the audio amp, and we're getting a good, uh, you know, 395 hertz out. So I got this guy hooked up to the um, I hope that's the statters. Three wires on one side, uh, 80 ohms from red to black and yellow to black, and 160 ohms from red to yellow. So I have the uh, the driver source wired to the uh, the high uh, high resistance, high impedance terminals there. The output is four wires. Two of them are bound together. I'm using this ground. The other two I have to the scoop here. And you can see where I have moved the rotor. I had this staged a bit. There. I have this set for... Um, it's a nice, good uh, instrument. I like to use this for a shaft encoder uh, position, uh, like a knob. If I could somehow decode that sine and cosine output as a... 0 to 359 or 0 to 1023 uh, somehow uh, just using a diode and a cap I could get just the magnitude but what we would lose is the phase uh, anyway here we start out say that's at 0 and as we go towards 45 45 degrees or equal we hit 90 degrees the first one becomes max uh, first one becomes zero, the second one becomes max, and then as we head towards 100 and between 90 and 180, there, now at 180 degrees, the first one is now the opposite phase. It was, it was positive going, now it's negative going, and it, between 180 and 270, they're equal, then at 270, second one is negative going and then we head back to between 270 and 360 and now we're at back where we were at zero degrees so I've turned the shaft one full revolution it should be able to re, um, decode any position there if I can just read those phases and amplitude interestingly when one is max like that and you turn the shaft you barely get any movement change in amplitude at the max but the one that is minimum is super sensitive gives you the same sensitivity all the way around these are fairly well documented I found several documents but uh, the next project is how to work on um, converting those to numbers or a, a point going around in a circle something like that Anyway, that's the good old, I mean, you, that can take some abuse there. That's a good position to put her. Just a, a buck or so at Mendelssohn. I've seen them for sale for like 400 or so at uh, aviation supply depots.